We have lag and performance related issues but not on this switch but rather on these Android phones. So follow these steps and hopefully it will fix the lag and performance related issues on your Android phone. So first of all go to the about device settings in your phone settings and find the version settings and after you are inside you want to tap seven times on this build number setting and it will ask you to enter your pattern once you enter your pattern you should be in the developers mode or developers option is unlocked now you want to go to the additional settings and go inside the developers option and here you need to tweak some settings so first of all the very first setting here that you want to see check or change is to is this one the force 4x msaa if it's on on your device turn it off because it it greatly eats up your phone's hardware or resources the next setting that you want to change is this background process limit so mine is currently set to the standard limit but i will recommend you to go with the third option which is at most one process so choose this setting it will you know limit the background process on your phone and also check if your phone allows you to extend your ram memory i have already extended my phone's ram memory to 4 gigabyte and since i do not have any extra storage left on my phone so it will not allow me to extend it any further but check if your phone allows you to extend your ram memory and if it allows extend your ram memory now before you launch the game on your phone make sure that you have closed all the applications running in the background because they are eating all the all the phone resources so yeah before you launch farming simulator 23 close all these application and it will free up some space the next tip is to have a game booster installed on your phone if your phone does not have any built-in game booster so you go to play store and search for the game booster there are many options available check the reviews and see which one is working for you and you know so after you are in the game you have to change some settings in the game as well so first of all of course let's go into the game settings menu and here you want to set your game's graphics hardware profile to low for this moment and you also want to change the traffic settings to turn off turn on of the settings and change the graphics to low and see how the game is running on your device hopefully it should be running fine because we are already on the lowest graphic settings and if it's running absolutely fine you can also change it to medium graphics later to see and if the medium graphics is also working good or working best for you then you are fine to go but if the medium graphics are you know causing some issues you can always revert back to the low graphic settings basically you want to find a sweet spot where you get decent performance and also get a decent graphics from your game so do not do not just try to get the best graphics as it will always have consequences and it will always affect the performance of your game if your phone cannot handle medium or high graphics game uh, high graphics then simply change your game graphics to low because it's better to play this game on low graphics than to simply lose your progress or have some other crash related issues because you have set the game graphics on a very high there are some extra tips that i really want to share with you is first of all make sure that you do not park way too many vehicles next to each other in the game because rendering vehicles also takes up a lot of resources and if your phone is already struggling to provide you a proper frame rate make sure that you do not park a lot of vehicles next to each other and if you if you if you want to buy some more vehicles park them on a distance from each other so that you don't have your phone doesn't don't have to render all these vehicles and there is another tip is that avoid going into the crops and also avoid harvesting crops by yourself as rendering crops in this game takes a lot of resources of your phone and puts a lot of load on your phone so make sure that you avoid going in the crops when they are particularly when they are ready to harvest and if is if it's possible 
try to hire helpers on on the crops when you want to harvest and do not simply harvest the crops by yourself and if all these settings does not work for you and to the end sadly i have to say that it's time for you to upgrade your phone because your phone cannot handle this game so i hope that these tips will help you and get a better performance of farming simulator 23 on your phone and if it works for you let me know in the comment section and i will see you in my next video very soon bye bye